of this ship. <laughs> this is my stream of consciousness. I'm the director and curator of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> my name's Josh Berkowitz. be a narcissist pirate tonight, I get to be a narcissist pirate. <laughs> There's gonna be nine acts at the show. <laughs> I'm gonna give it to you in the form of uh, nine riddles. Just to give you a little <laughs> Number one. <laughs> yeah. If you go into a bathtub, and you you find your way down the drain, and, uh, and all of a sudden you're in the, the, the black hole in the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> Two. <laughs> if, I, if I brought to you somebody who's juggling their personal demons in the form of water bottles, and they symbolize something, would you find that interesting? Yeah. yeah. Three, uh, um, have you ever taken a walk on the beach with a woman half crazed, half telepathic, and you, you told each other cosmic jokes, and you walked into the sunset together? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Have you ever had an underwater breathing contest, and you wanted to win so bad? <laughs> You die. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever taken a swimming lesson and the, the instructor talked your ear off and then you got water in your other ear and then you went deaf? <laughs> not, not yet. <laughs> but have you ever been swimming in the ocean and you swim deep enough that you start to see some sexy mermaids, but then you, you for some reason swim even deeper and you see some mermaids in their 50s and 60s. And you, and you, but then you, you remember about the time you were two years old and you jumped off the high diving board, no fear? Hmm? Oh, have you ever been so turned on that your genitalia turned to steam and then your groin evaporated? <laughs> but then it froze over and you got to play ice hockey, but not quite because your name's not Brad or Chad or Sean or Brett. <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Have you ever fallen down a 500 foot well? Well? <laughs> well? 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 Oh, well. <laughs> porcelain refinish. Guaranteed not to chip for 20 years. <laughs> oh, so safe and warm in here. <laughs> you want to come in? You want to come in? You can come in if you want. The water's delicious. <laughs> you can bring a toy. You, you, you want to bring a toy? You can bring your Ken doll or your Barbie or your Buzz Lightyear or your Batman, your Superman. I have my Sharky. <laughs> I just fed it crayons this morning, so it might be too full to swim. <laughs> <sighs> bubbles. <laughs> I just filled the tub with bubbles. Mr. Bubbles, do you want some? Do you want some? <sighs> do you want to go on a journey? Do you want to go on an adventure? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go on an adventure. Let me get my gear. Deep down. 
Come up to the ledge. It's down here. You see yourself. You see everything you want to see down here. Oh, there's another air heart. Hello. <laughs> Is that a piece of the Titanic? Huh? Oh my god, my first cabbage patch doll that I got for Christmas Francis Bean. <laughs> oh, Shuggy. My dog Shugs. No pee pee on the bed, Shugs. No pee pee on the bed. Especially with Tommy. Stop sitting on my face, Tommy! I can't breathe! God! So ordinary. I'm so bored of myself. What if I were just a... What if I were just a... Try again. Right? <laughs> 
consciousness. And four, four, each. Ha ha! Oh!
the Dalai Lama say to the hot dog stand man <laughs> when he ordered this hot dog what? make me one everything <laughs> <laughs> what it's going to look like 
later down the line. No one tells you, but if you go there, you can find out. <laughs> and I found out, and I also got to say, not bad. <laughs> I got this ex-boyfriend, and he called me recently, and I was like, uh-oh. And he was like, hey, I got to tell somebody something that happened to me recently that was really traumatic, and you are going to be that somebody. And I was like, okay. And he was like, here we go. And uh, he said, he was in like Michigan, and he was swimming with some friends, and then this cop boat came, and, and they were looking for something, so the friends started looking for something, and then at once, everyone's eyes landed on a dead body floating in there. And said what struck him was not only the dead body <laughs> but also the song coming from the beach that someone was playing from a boom box which was someday somebody's gonna make you wanna turn around and say goodbye <laughs> till then baby are you gonna let them hold you down and make you cry yeah don't you know, don't you know, things will change, things will go your way. Here it comes, if you hold on for one more day. Rough. <laughs> I'm a preteen boogie boarder. I'm a narcissist pirate king. And my daddy owns a submarine. Ooh, I'm a preteen boogie boarder. I'm a narcissist pirate king. And my daddy owns a submarine. I'm a preteen boogie boarder. I'm a preteen boogie boarder. Boogie boarder. Boogie boarder. Boogie boarder. <laughs> in the ocean today?
what do you think I thought of in the last couple of years? <laughs> yes. Yes. You don't have to if you don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here it goes, man. 60 year mortgage. <laughs> I'd be 96, man. <laughs> you can't own shit, man. It's not possible. <laughs> <Is that you? laughs> yeah, it's a, you know, it's a lot like a lot like life surfing, you know? You struggle and you paddle and you you get on that seven seconds of fucking awesome, man, and then it's you just you just did it all for it's like a it's like a zero sum game, man. Just that's it, man. You didn't do anything when it's all said and done. You can't take it with you. But I guess if you think about it, um, there's also you can look at it as, as frivolity, right? Um, it, it, not everything is, is futile. Uh, if, if everything means nothing, then um, then anything can mean everything, and and and. If, if, if whatever you do doesn't really count, then not everything you do is wrong. Maybe everything you do is right. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, wow, man. You can do no wrong, man. Oh, wow, dude, that's fucking great, bro. I'm infallible. <laughs> oh, man. No, that's not right. That's narcissism. You're not infallible, bro. No, no, no. I mean, you gotta have confidence. Yeah, you guys, you need confidence, man. Like, enough confidence, but not, not too much confidence. It's just like a, like, a, like a good balance, you know? I mean, uh, you know, you know, Martin Luther King, uh, Gandhi, you know, they, they had to have the, the confidence to, to love the people that hated them, you know? Uh, in a way, Mother Teresa and Donald Trump are the same, you know? <laughs> Whether you're a saint or a shit, you have to have the poise. <laughs> so look at your critics and say, critics be damned, I'm going to do what I'm doing. No, man. No, man, it's fucked up, man. Your mother Teresa is not the same as Donald Trump, really. There's got to be something, man. There's something, okay. The, uh, confidence is one of the main ingredients of humility and narcissism. Maybe... Oh, tolerance. Tolerance is an ingredient of humility that is not an ingredient of narcissism. You have to appreciate the people that don't appreciate you. You know, man, let them do their thing. You know, we all, we all have our, our truths to live. You gotta, you gotta do you, man. Yeah, that's right, bro. You be you, man, and I'll be me. Some people surf and some people skimboard, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Some people are going to wad the toilet paper instead of folding it when they wipe, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, some people try to get on the elevator before everybody's gotten off. <laughs> wow, man. <laughs> you know what? I, I think cars are a wonderful invention for moving goods and the disabled. You guys want to hear a joke? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's hear it. Uh, here we go. Let's hear a joke. Um, so uh, there's a guy who cares about the environment and wants to fight global warming. And he uses uh, an automobile as his main form of transportation. So there's my joke. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, you can't be against cars, dude. No, no, that's not good. Dude. No, no, no. There's 250 million cars in the, in the, in the U.S. Yeah, that is an untenable, unpopular position. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's too many critics out there, bro. I mean, granted, uh, one half of one percent of that number uh, has adequate access to the legal system. It would be great if we could invert those numbers. It'd be great for public safety and land use planning and uh, the environment. But, but you know, man, you're not going to win that fight, man. Who am I, right? Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Reason? No, no, man. I mean, you've probably got 60 years left, bro. So you know, you guys, if you're driving a car, man, I didn't mean it personally. You do you, man. You do you. You're just sitting on your butt, pushing a button with your foot anyway, you know? Sitting on your butt, pushing a button with your foot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like this girl, I went on a date with this girl, Jessie. Gorgeous. Of course she was gorgeous. Look at me. <laughs> no, dude, that's narcissist, narcissist, narcissist. Okay. Uh, anyway, 
<laughs> we went on this date, and uh, I don't really get down with uh, Froyo, bro, but I'm down with Flo, you know? <laughs> so uh, we went to Golden Spoon, man. You know, we went there, and you know, guys, if you haven't been there, it's just pretty good, man. <laughs> I, I recommend it, you know? So you can spend your money on something worse. And so we're riding around there, and uh, we're riding around in, in, the, in the cool SoCal air of an evening, you know, with the windows down, and Jessie finishes her Froyo, and takes a styrofoam bowl and the plastic spoon and tosses them out the window. No, oh, man, you'd be you, you'd be you. She's just living her truth, man. Authentically Jesse, man. Authentically <laughs> Jesse. Because, because she's just, that's her thing, man. That's her thing. That's her thing, man. So, you know, some people, some people who carry guns are afraid of little black boys with Skittles. You just think, you, know, you, gotta, you gotta be tolerant, man. You gotta be tolerant. A bunch of mixed messages, man. Makes me really confused. That's, that's why I write my raps in code. If you can find an alphanumeric cipher that makes this crap sound all right, let me know. I'm applying for a patent for this way of rapping, trash can tackling, the use of syntax, and eating paint and magnets. I'm out to lunch and off on a tangent, damn it. A liturgical gyroscope spinning to turn the tonic tantric. Hooked into the learning machine, just trying to matriculate. Pumps full of hot air, I might fly when I finish straight. My mind is like a dinner date. A stutter and stubble, the nervous word, this word is the birdies, just to try to get something to say. <laughs> so mirror check one, two, man, forget bliss. I'm looking at my reflection in. Ignorance is this. I used to think I thought I knew, but now I'm just pissed. I did my best to better my day, but now it's just this. It's organs and torment and a pail full of earwax and mornings and morning a sale for the beer hat. I'm gonna sell that shit and get a sledgehammer. That's right, fits, fights, all kind of problems. Noises in the attic and skeletons in the closet. The texture makes the glass seem different. I wreck stuff and break stuff, make shift with the makeup. I, I take up hobbies with the shitty grass. I simply sat for the test, rolled out of bed and didn't dress. Shit falls out of my lap and I question why people don't do what people don't feel like and so my testament is they alike to the rest of it and that means that your homeboy is my equal so I'm trading in a beer hat for a tool of more evil. See, evil people see through traps set up by evil people. The sequel leads and triples the steeples for evil people. But what the bleep might have you not even believe with people. So I need a tool for seeing the good that's passed. A beer hat for sale. A beer hat for sale. Severe sass and frailty have me auctioning a beer hat. So buy it. Go try it. Because today I'm graduating. I'm passing the next level and gravitating. Salivating and chomping at the bit with like bitterness and raunchy shit. Thought we'd get further than this. Well... Yeah, yeah, but I looked back and saw that I was going there. So we're stairs soaked the cloak of what I've been minding. And this free condescension when my mind spring chimes in. So do whatever you want to do and say whatever you like. Then calibrate your moral compass based on how you live your life. Right? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> He's riding away. <laughs> on land, they don't actually get feet. <laughs> Je me suis baigné. Il y a longtemps que je... My father said that if you wear a mini skirt, you're asking for it. <sighs> Do you know Somebody told me that if you laugh like this, you won't get wrinkles. <laughs> when I was a kid, I, 
I, uh, I played tennis in heaven with my boyfriend, Richard Potterton. He was 13 and I was 11. And he put his hand right down my shirt. And there was nothing there. <laughs> I'm flat chested. I broke up with him right away. Oh, it doesn't matter now, though, because these are saline like the sea. <laughs> <laughs> Just swim away. <laughs> <laughs> 
kind of look sideways just to see if anybody found that special sort of warm spot. <laughs> and I've felt a few warm spots myself, so I got paid that. When I was five, I used to dive off the high diving board. It was 20 feet up, head first, no fear. When I was five, I used to dive off the high diving board, 20 feet up, head first, no fear. I'd reach up to the sky and then down past my shoes. Well, actually, I was not wearing shoes. I was wearing bare feet. I reached <laughs> up past the sky and down past my feet. I hate the most are the dry parched lines in my face. It's not, it's not anything except that I think you think something about it and then I feel like limited. You know what I mean? I feel like everybody's talking about it. I'm driving on the freeway and the sign reads, severe drought. <laughs> How do they know? <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, is I'm going to be older for so much longer than I'm going to be young, that I was young, right? And I've taken really good care of myself. So, I mean, I could live to 110, right? So what am I going to do with the next 60 years of my life? I don't know. My first boyfriend was a lifeguard. He used to walk me home from school. He was 17, and I was five. <laughs> à la claire fontaine Yes, 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 I'm still the captain of this ship. <laughs> still the captain of this ship. Look at See, look at this. Oh, 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 oh. This is this. This should be this. Sean. Sean, is it Sean? Brad. Oh, Chad. Brad. Sean. Brad. Chad. Oh, I'm going to never last play hockey. Oh, my Bring them up! 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 Oh! <laughs> oh! Okay, here we go, here we go. Woo! 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 Open your face up, boys. Open your face up. Here we go. Hey! 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 Guys! Guys! Hey! Hey! Here's a plan. Here's a plan. You go down. I'm going to win the face up. I'm going to dump. Dump and chase. Two points out. Two points out. You're out, okay? Hey! You're out, too. You're out, too. You got some points. You got a little other win. Other win. Please don't bump. Come back to you. I'm on the side, on the side. You ready, 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 Who's up 
sorpresa. Blue Blast Squad, en eso. Blue Blast Squad, uno de los tres, con Carolina. Con Carolina. Hey, hey, Blue Blast Squad, ¿qué es lo que tú? Tú vas a ir a la casa, tú vas a ir a la casa, tú vas a ir a la casa. Tú vas a ir a la casa, tú vas a ir a la casa. I said, hey, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Tell your mama I'm on my time back, okay? Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. took me to a hockey camp in Canada. And bam, I said Calgary to become a better player. And it was the last day of the camp. And the game went to overtime. And I got a penalty shot. I was tipped up. And the first thing I did is I looked into the, the audience, I saw my mom with her hands over her face. She couldn't watch. And my dad ran down. <laughs> he got down and got behind the goalie. He got behind the goalie. <laughs> and I got in the puck. I didn't know what I was doing. I just I don't remember. I just went and, and I saw the goalie. I a really big fun hole. And I got the puck. And I scored. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm gonna get the red.
thirsty. 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 Both. Both. Yes. Hydrated. Thirsty. Both. And my riddle is, let's say I am a narcissistic pirate and this is my shit here. <laughs> and this is my stream of consciousness or is it your stream of consciousness because you're experiencing it? <laughs> what? <laughs>
a state like that just wasn't California or New York. Other ones. was watching as they were like doing this rescue effort for this little girl and like no one knew like really if she was alive and um, we were all around and I was just a little one and all these guys like had these like helmets and, and like like lumberjack clothing and, and they were all like with lights and big cameras and and her name was like like baby Joe or baby Josie or baby Lynn or baby Susie or Jessica. baby that's right, it's baby Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> baby Jessica! Baby Jessica! Baby Jessica! Hey, can you hear us? Hey, can you hear us? Are you alive? Are you alive? Are you alive? And we're all watching. And then, like, one day and one moment, it just <laughs> brought her up. And she had, like, a little bandage wrapped around her head like she was a cartoon character. <laughs> like, the whole nation, maybe even the whole world, was like, yeah. You know? I mean, it's not like she, ah! Got impaled by some sort of snake at the bottom! And fill the whole well up with blood! You sick fox. <laughs> Do you not know that we are in a D-R-O-U-G-H-T? Which actually brings me to another story. <laughs> there was this village, and they had a drought. They weren't getting any rain, and it was like really intense because their whole livelihood was dependent on rain. So what they did was they called for a shaman. And uh, the shaman came in to the village, and the shaman was like, look, I'm gonna help you guys out, but you need to set me up on the outskirts of the village. You need to be solitary to make this happen. And who knew, a couple days later, it's raining, and all the villagers are like, Whoa, <laughs> how'd you make this happen? And the shaman was like, well, I couldn't be within you because you guys were out of balance. And I can't create balance up here. There's not balance down here. And they were like, oh, 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 Yeah, please, you take shit, man! I'll see you in a little 